Alright, how you doing? Once again, it's Chris Lee and I'm here bringing you another uh, three tips to fit. Alright, every Thursday, like I said, I'm going to post one, you know, three, one mental, one physical, and one nutritional tip that's going to help you excel in your fitness or in your sports uh, conditioning career. Alright, so the biggest one, the first one we're going to talk about is routine. Alright, we're going to use routine for every single one of them today. So when I talk about routine for our dieting, uh, let's say, or our nutrition, you should have a routine of before your exercises, before your workouts, and before your games, and maybe the night before a game, what kind of foods that you're going to eat, right? So the biggest way to maximize your performance is to make sure you're maximizing your energy sources, taking, uh, you know, when you're after a workout, for instance, you want to make sure that you're getting in some type of protein and carbohydrate, because your, carbo your sugar is going to be a little bit lower after a workout, and you want to boost those uh, glycogen stores. So the biggest thing, like I said, is have a routine. If you're done working out, you know, within the first 45 minutes, you want to have protein in your body. So maybe mix a protein shake and some kind of uh, whole grain sandwich or something like that with some meat to get a little extra protein if you're in building mode or, you know, some kind of add a little bit of a fat to it. I like to add a little avocado in my sandwich after to make sure I get my fat up to. Uh, one of the biggest things, uh, like I said, routine for our physical tip, we're going to stay with the routine. When you go into the weight room, make sure that you're there with a purpose, that you come in, you have a plan of what kind of exercises that you want to do. All right, so when you, go in the when you go into the gym, you can't just be walking around the gym thinking, oh, what exercise am I going to do? Am I going to do a row? Do I feel like doing a seated curl? Do I feel like doing bench today? Because chances are you're going to go with the, uh, you know, the, the exercises that you normally go with, the ones that you, know, you end up chaining your chest every single day almost because you like doing benches, so you do different variations of bench each single day, knowing that you should be researching and seeing which different exercises that you can use to train other parts of your body, some that you don't actually get attention. So one of the biggest things is use eye muscle. That's an app that I have uh, acquired. One of my clients actually told me about it, and I like using it because it brings a little variation to my training. Uh, every once in a while, I go in there and I can search through an exercise that I haven't used for a while, and it refreshes my brain, and it also gives you stretching uh, routines that you can do in that, and you can build your own workout through that. So that will help you have more of a routine when you come into it. All right, my routine is I'll give you a little tip to mine so you can have a little help. Uh, when we come in, we usually go through four quarters of uh, training here. So the first thing we want to do is before we start a four-quarter game, we want to make sure that we're going through four uh, prep for our four quarters. So we have an activation warm-up that we come in and we do that works on our balance, our range of motion, our flexibility. Uh, it also gets the heart rate up just enough right before we get into our next part. So the first part is our prep, then we get into our extended warm-up, which is our dynamic warm-up. Right? We do a lot more explosive movements, uh, small training with resistance bands and stuff like that, getting inside, inside those small muscles, increasing that range of motion a little bit more and more of that flexibility. After we go through our dynamic warm-up, we usually jump into a little bit of a core warm-up where we work on more parts of our core training in all different uh, planes. So we got the transverse plane, we got the sagittal plane, and the frontal plane. We want to make sure that we're thinking of core as a whole. Circles all the way around our body, starting here below our chest, all the way through our hips. So hip presses, back extensions, side planks, all those things are things that we should be doing and putting into our core part. After we get into a core, we go through our resistance training, right? That's third quarter. You gotta come in after halftime, you're halfway through, you gotta turn it on to another gear. We're gonna have to push through usually you know two to five times in a, in a workout, depending on what it is and what our goal is. So we have that resistance training for people that are more about power and stuff like that. Obviously, there's gonna be a little bit more rest, but we're gonna try and do it in a circuit of maybe three or four exercises that are push and pull so you, we can make sure that we're accommodating for our time. The last one. Finisher, right? I always do a metabolic finisher where we push people through their exercises. A little bit harder, a little more vigorous, a lot less tension. Uh, usually get the heart rate up really, really high and trying to accommodate a large, massive amounts of oxygen consumption at this point, right? We want to elevate that epoch and have people going home burning more calories because it's not about what you do in the gym all the time, it's about what happens at home. So, recovery is a big thing at home and also sending people home through EPOC, which is excessive post-oxygen consum uh, exercise consumption, we want to make sure that their, you know, their body's still regulating as they're in the parking lot, as they're going home cooking their dinner or whatever they're doing. We want to make sure that their heart rate, you know, realize that their heart understands that they just went through a little bit of training and it's time to recover. So extended recovery, you can look at that as. All right. So the last thing we got is a mental tip. 
Our mental tip is same thing, routine. When you come in, our finisher is the hardest part of our workout, right? It's there for a reason. This is the part that you have to push through. Usually you're really, really tired after the workout that you just went through. It's usually very vigorous in here. It elevates as the time goes on. It gets harder and harder and harder. This is going to make us mentally push through our life a little bit harder when you are you know, not making that deadline. You're going to push a little bit harder to try and get it done by that deadline. You're going to wake up a little bit earlier. You're going to become more determined. So not only should your routine, your workout routine, be something that's going to help you excel as far as your body and strength, it should also be something that's going to help you excel as far as your mind and your spirit. So we want to make sure that in here I break people's spirits as much as I can just to show them that, hey, you got a little bit more left in you, you can push a little bit further. So, you know, just look at different ways you can change your routine uh, as far as eating. Right? You want to have a good eating routine. You want to have a good workout routine that always works. I don't change mine because it works, right? Staying with it. I'm probably going to always stay with it and tweak maybe here and there, but I think that all those stages, you know, they're, they're, that's what you get. That's how you get great results. I got that formula from another trainer, uh, Alan Cosgrove. He's amazing. He talks about pyramid training. As far as most people think about going in, starting off with a cardio, when really our cardio, long distance cardio, aerobic exercise should really be our activity or our rest day interval type stuff. So I'll get into that a little bit more on another video. I appreciate you watching this one. So you can get a little more information from me on my Facebook page, uh, which is, you might be watching this on here, but if you're on YouTube, it's uh, www.facebook.com slash impact856. All right, that's impact856. My website is www.performimpact.com. Perform in, in, uh, sorry, performimpact.com. All right, so we got more work going on on the website. We're going to be putting up more content, more pictures, more videos. But we have an Instagram connected on to that, so you can follow through and see how the, you know, some of the exercises that we're doing here down at the sports club in Mount Laurel. And you can always stop down here, you know, check in. Chris Slingham, Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. Three tips to fit every week. Y'all have a good holiday, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.